Jenny. Yes. What are you attempting? Because there's lots of stuff going on here. Yeah, I'm trying to recreate the flavours of a lamb hot pot Irish stew that is sort of a, a Ryan family recipe. Obviously, that's the kind of dish that takes like four hours. So it's trying to recreate that within an hour. OK, so you're sort of deconstructing, then reconstructing a lamb hot pot by yeah. doing all of it separate? Yes. And then your next course is? I'm calling it Paddington's Posh Pudding. So it's a brioche pudding made with marmalade sandwiches. So marmalade bread and butter pudding, Paddington style, with... Aunt Lucy's favourite cocktail to go with the Paddington theme. You're going to serve an alcoholic cocktail? It's how it would happen around at my house. Why not here? <laughs> There are very few things in life better than a lamb hot pot. Bring it on, Jenny. Jenny, serving 15, yeah? Yes, I'll be ready, chef. Are we are we hot pot or are we stew? What are we? It's a hot stew. Hot stew. Overdone. I wanted it pink. You've got a couple of minutes left, so you're doing all right. Yep. We want to get the sauce nice and thick. Lovely, crisp potatoes on the outside, fluffy in the middle. There we go. Go on, Jenny. Hello, hello. Hello. Hey, how are you? Jenny is serving her version of a lamb hot pot with lamb fillet, on pearl barley with carrots and peas, a crispy potato lid, and a lamb sauce. The, the potatoes are very, very soggy. The lamb is, is overcooked and no real flavour coming off that. I think the whole dish is under seasoned, but the main upset for me is the overcooked lamb. The jus. 10 out of 10 for me, the rest of the plate, not so much. But she's still got her Paddington pud to come. Yes. So let's say Paddington to the rescue, eh? The, the vegetables are cooked, the pole barley's cooked, lamb's cooked, potatoes are cooked. What it's missing is a thicker sauce. All right, Jenny? Yep. 15 minutes for that fantastic sounding pudding, yes. right? I have no idea what Paddington's posh pudding and a Peru driver is. Peru driver, screwdriver is a vodka and orange. I'm thinking it's a play on that. It's going to be some uh, marmalade related uh, desserts, isn't it? What's that? Um, these are tags for Okay. You happy? I'm happy with these. Let's go. Hello, hello. 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 Wow. I've made for you Paddington's Posh Pudding. It's a bread and butter brioche pudding made with marmalade sandwiches. And you've got a Peru driver, which is Aunt Lucy's favourite cocktail. That's, uh, that's got Pisco, which is a Peruvian brandy some orange liqueur and orange juice, and the alcohol-free version for you, John. Thanks a lot. Have fun. I am down with this dessert. This is my kind of dessert. I love these little touches. Please look after this pudding. Simple dessert. And it smells delicious, uh, and I can't wait to eat it. I'm particularly pleased with that pudding. I hope they enjoy that. They should do if they've got any taste. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Well, I will certainly look after this pudding. I have a very, very safe home for it, my stomach. This is spot on. A lovely crunch over the top of the, uh, the bread and butter pudding. The drink I really like. Initially, you get orange juice, and then that liqueur comes through. I love the flavour combination. It is home, it is hearty, it is comfort. I could eat that dessert all day long. I like the texture of the bread and butter pudding. It is crispy on the top and soft in the middle. When you get a little bit of marmalade, it's beautiful.